For time t greater than zero, the capacitor current is. We are asked to assume zero initial conditions. So, zero initial conditions means the capacitor voltage. That means V initial. That is the initial voltage across the capacitor is zero volts. Since there is a 10 volt supply and an voltage divider circuit here, we have to find out what is the final voltage we will find what is Vc of T. Now we are asked to find out what is the current through the capacitor it is nothing but IC of T. What we are going to do? We know that the current through the capacitor is given by C T V C by D T. So this is the method we are going to follow. Now we want to find out what is Vc of T. We have to know what is the initial voltage and what is the final voltage and what is the time constant of the circuit. Now to find final voltage what we have to do we know that once the steady state tree is reached the capacitor acts as an open circuit and what are is the voltage across it will be the final voltage. So we can draw the equivalent circuit once it has reached steady state we have the 10 volt source here the 20k resistor and the another 20k resistor. Since it is a voltage divider we know that the potential final potential will be 5 volts. So the method to find out is either we can directly we use what is known as the voltage divider rule or simply use the ohm's law that is 10 volt divided by 40k which is the current through 20k this resistor now we have to multiply it by the resistance to get what is the voltage that will be 5 volts that is 5 volts now to find out what is the time constant which is nothing but RC time constant we know the value of C which is 4 microfarads into to find out what is the equivalent resistance looking across the capacitor we have to short circuit the voltage source now we have 20k and 20k in parallel which is 10k 40 milliseconds now we know that the voltage across of the capacitor is given by the equation V final plus V initial minus V final into exponential of minus T by tau that is 5 plus this is 0 minus 5 into exponential of minus 1 by 40, sec 40 millisecond is um, 125 oh, sorry, 25 T so we have found out what is V C of T now to find I of T I C of T what we have to do? We have to find out C D V Z by D T. That is the value of C for micro into derivative of this. That is this derivative of 5 will be 0. This one will be minus 5 into minus 25 into e power minus 25 t that is nothing but 125 into 4 5 into 25 is 125 into 4 micro e power minus 25 t that is 500 t 
e power minus 25 t microamps.